2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. No answers? Jay, Jay Ram, I just stepped out. What is the question? Uh, the question is, uh, I've got a compile time error here. Okay. So I want to figure out uh, what is the problem. So I have just uh, given you the structure here. So your Reliance Oil employee is extending your uh, Reliance employee. And Reliance employee is basically extending your uh, jumpable here. Okay. And uh, I have not implemented the jump behavior in my uh, Reliance employee class. Okay. And what should I do in order to make my code compile free? Okay, I'm just going. Vast virus database has been updated. I'm just giving one minute to you guys. Okay, so I'm getting a type implements jumpable. Uh, uh, no, I already my. Reliance employee is extra, is already implementing my jumpable here, right? Uh, what happens basically? It's you you still have the same issue here out here. Okay, all right. Uh, so yeah, so the I I'm getting a couple of uh, correct answers here. So it says that make this class as abstract. So that is very. <coughs> Very, very well, I can do that in order to make my code compile free. Okay, all right. Uh, now, I have all these behaviors right now, and uh, everything is everything is fine, well and good. So I have all uh, dealt with all my hierarchy, and even I have added a new feature into the uh, uh, into the which employee into my where is that? Uh, okay, so I have added all the behavior by default, all the all the uh, features into the subclasses out here. Okay, now uh, what next? I can represent my Reliance employee. Okay, all the Reliance employee as a jumpable also, as an employee also right now. Okay, see the concern out here. Right now, as your Reliance employee is extending an employee, as a Reliance employee is, uh, implement, has even implemented a jumpable. Okay, so, and in this case, I can represent my Reliance employee as an employee as well as as a jumpable. Okay, the same way what I did it in the client program, if you see in the previous example, I can represent my Reliance clothing employee as a Reliance clothing employee reference or as a employee a Reliance employee reference also as a employee reference also because they are in a in a single hierarchy okay the same thing goes for your uh, for your Reliance oil employee okay or a Reliance clothing employee also okay if I just say here that jumpable, okay, and I'm specifically talking about a jumpable behavior. I say jumpable jump equals to new Reliance clothing and import this, right? Now, when I talk about jumpable jump equals to new Reliance clothing employee, copy this, paste it here, dot what all things you are getting it here. Apart from having your object class methods, you are only getting only one method that is your jump behavior. Okay. Now, uh, usually it is always a good practice coding standard that always whenever you want to invoke any of the methods of a particular class, 
always deal with the interfaces okay do not let the users to invoke your methods with the help of the reference of your subclasses okay never try to give uh, something like this never try to use it in this way also okay so it's a good standard to use always using your interfaces all right now here i as you know this is a kind of a polymorphism uh now what i can do i can even use the same jumpable in a different hierarchy also now when i say as an employee i cannot use this employee uh for fishes right or uh, let's say if a, a a a dolphin fish who's who's not an employee he's he doesn't get paid for anything right so i cannot use this employee hierarchy for that particular cause but what i can do when i have an interface out here i can plug in this interface to any kind of hierarchy okay because i want to give an additional feature to a particular object saying that okay this particular object has the capability to jump also okay does it make sense out here because as you know in java you cannot do multiple inheritance it is only possible with the help of an interface here okay it's very important to understand because uh in the complete world of java you will be coming across lot of interfaces lot of abstractions and what not okay and any of the methods you define here let's say uh, sorry variables int i equals to 10 right now what am i going to do uh, i'll copy this and go back to my company to hire and just say sys out jumpable dot i i can still access this okay so everything by default is a public static all right so any variable can you repeat the concept like let's not get into those uh, like uh, methods or anything just concept can you uh, like uh, rephrase it okay so when you talk about interfaces uh, it's something like one interface could be used for multiple class of action okay now the same thing if i just give you a small uh, a layman example uh, which i have already told you in the previous sessions with the help of your nose what you do whenever you smell anything uh anything good you say wow it is a good thing i mean whenever you smell something pungent you your behavior changes so with the help of the same nose you can detect two different things right the same thing happens here with the help of your jumpable here this jumpable could be used on a reliance clothing this jumpable could be used for any class of action okay when i talk about any class of action when i say let's say i haven't created a uh, fish class i'm saying jumpable jump um jumping equals to new of fish okay because i know that whenever i create in this way fish has got a jumping behavior also the same interfaces i can use on a fish the same interface i'm using on a employee as well so it is basically a kind of a contract between the classes saying that whenever you use your jumpable as an interface or runnable as an interface in java we have got a, a class known as runnable I'll just show you show you that okay so java dot lang dot runnable so it is a kind of an interface okay wherein uh, you are saying it is it has got a particular behavior in it okay so when you say it is a runnable that means any class could be runnable any object could be runnable okay so there are a lot of other interfaces which we will see one by one in the upcoming classes is it somewhat uh, clear with the concepts yes okay yes sir yes sir I don't understand this poly polymorphism over here. Mm -hmm. That um, when you cast uh, a variable to a particular interface while creating, so we'll, and you can access the members of only that of the uh, class or interface, right? Right. Uh, but suppose uh, here mm -hmm. um, uh, we are casting uh, variable to the employee as jump, mm -hmm. so you can access only the jump behavior. Mm -hmm. But if you if you uh, if you cast it as Level of the employee itself, mm -hmm. so you can access all the uh, members of all the interface classes. Yes, it does. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I want it. Okay. Thank you. All right. So 
what if I uh, do something like this now what do I do here what am I doing here cannot convert yeah, here yes I'm basically casting this out here okay I'm casting it to, oh, I'm still getting convert uh, void uh, from void. Okay, this is your uh, void. So, okay. So let me just push this out here. Okay. So on this employee, you can basically say emp dot whatever the thing you want. Okay. Now here, again, you're kind of doing a casting out here. Uh, you already have a reference to it because see, uh, when you talk about uh, MS Paint, so you have an object out here which has been created and you are having just a reference out here with the help of your jump and this is your reference and you know that with the help of the jump reference you can only invoke the specific method which are present in your jump. Still if you want to have an option you can cast this to a particular type that's what I have done it here to a particular type here and from that I can still invoke it. Okay, so this is, I mean, you have different options. Still, you want to uh, typecast it to a particular type, you can still do it. Okay, all right. Uh, so, okay, so my next concern here, I was trying to show you something here. Uh, when I say uh, show employee details, uh, what am I going to do here is I'm going to say, uh, Okay, Reliance Employee, Jumpable, go here, Reliance Employee. Okay, I'm going to copy this class and push it here as a parameter. Okay, so what did I do here? I created a method and in that method, I basically have passed the Reliance Employee. Okay. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to say, okay, let me instead of Reliance Employee, I can even pass the jumpable out here. Uh, okay, I'll just say show jump behavior. All right. Now, uh, once I have created the the method show jump behavior and I have I'm only passing it uh, jumpable as an interface. So what are the things I can uh, pass on to your uh, show jump behavior? So let me make this a static. I don't have to create an instance of this particular class. Okay. So copy this. I will use it here inside the main method, and I am going to invoke this by passing something. Right. I can okay, and I can pass. Something like null also, okay? Now, here when I pass null, uh, as you know, when we sp when we say something like uh, string, okay. Uh, okay, so when I say string name out here and uh, I want to say public void print name. And in this name, if I simply say sys out and type in name, okay. And in this, if I just create an instance of my company to hire guys, uh, company equals to new of so and so. Okay. Now, if I say company dot print name, so what am I going to get here? If I'm not initializing this value at uh, this object as I said everything is a uh, everything is object in in Java okay here when I talk about company to hire this is also an object the same way there is some predefined classes string which we are going to see down the line okay so if I just right click run as uh, Java application I'm going to get something like as null out here why because I have not initializing and uh, initialize anything if you uh, use try to use int i right now it is going to give me a value of zero. If I use a object without initializing it, I'm going to get a value of null, okay? Now, null is a kind of, a, it's, it's a keyword in Java as well. You cannot use null any in any of the places. 
Now here uh, I know that when I say show jump behavior, I have to pass something out here. Even I can say null also. It doesn't matter at all. Okay. Now if I say uh, reliance employee, so what are methods I can invoke? Only the jump behavior dot jump behavior. That's all I can do it. Okay. Now let me comment out these things for now. Comment this. Comment this. I don't want to invoke any of the existing methods which I have implemented in the respective classes. Okay. Now, oh, when I invoke this, what basically happens? So I right click run as uh, Java application, right? I basically get a null pointer exception because when I come to your, uh, when I invoke the show jump behavior, I'm passing null. So ultimately, this is nothing but your null. So you cannot basically invoke any of the method on a null reference. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You cannot invoke any of the methods on a null reference. So what I can do, I can basically come here and say if reliance employee not equals to null, okay, then only do this functionality. All right, so right click run as Java application. I'm good right now, but ultimately a jump behavior is not getting invoked. Now, what I can do right now, as whenever I invoke my show uh, show jump behavior, I have to only pass a type of jumpable interface. Okay, so what if I pass this to show jump behavior? We should not use interface when uh, when you can use abstract. Is abstract not enough when no methods are imp are implemented? Okay, let me rephrase. No, I uh, there's a question from uh, Lydia Reliance employee is an abstract class. How can you create a new object? I did not create a new object of your uh, Reliance employee. I just created for the subclasses. Okay. Okay. So why should one use interfaces when you can use abstract? Okay. Uh, good question. Is abstract not enough when no methods are implemented? Uh, okay. So coming on to your question, uh, as I told you, uh, you are asking abstract is enough. Yes, abstract is enough. But when you talk about abstract, you always talk about a particular hierarchy. Okay, you do not uh, talk anything apart from that. Okay, but here as a Reliance employee, I'm going to give an additional functionality to this Reliance employee that they can jump. Okay, I can even say, uh, let's say I have one more, uh, one more. Uh, interface okay so I'm just going to say right click new interface and I'm just going to say here uh, singable so basically they can sing also okay so in this case I, I'm just going to say uh, void uh, sing rock okay. so I, I say that whenever uh, any of the employee they I want to add some particular behavior for a particular employee now I know that singable in the sense of uh, the oil oil employee uh, employees they always are very much busy and uh, they don't even have time but the person who is actually selling clothes they have got a lot of time and uh, if they don't sing the customers won't come to them the customers uh, won't feel relaxed, they won't feel happy, they won't feel uh, jolly as well. So it is bound for a particular Reliance clothing employee to have a singable behavior at all completely. Okay. So what I do, I being a Reliance clothing employee, he is extending a Reliance employee. As a result, he is extending jumpable, no doubt, because all the Reliance employees, they can jump. Apart from that, I want to add a behavior, singing behavior to a clothing employee. So what I can do, I can just say, okay, I can basically say that to the clothing employee, say that implements uh, singable. Okay. So just import this, right? Now, when I say this, I have to definitely implement the unimplemented method. That's what I have added the sing rock here, right? Now, I cannot add this particular uh, singable to a particular hierarchy. Why should I do that? Because employee will never, 
there are a couple of employees who can sing there are employees who cannot sing okay but i want to give a specific behavior for a particular kind of object here okay so i hope this answers your question out here uh, right so let's 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 move on um okay so coming back where i was company to hire all right so here in this case uh, what i can do i i if i want to pass this employee here because i want to pass something out to the show jump behavior right so pass this uh right click run as job application yeah so i'm good out here uh, okay we'll do one thing we'll come here and in your lens clothing employee i will jump behavior i'll just add something out here sys out i know jumping as a clothing guy right so right click uh, run as okay let me even comment this out right click run as job application i know jumping as a clothing guy as well right uh now here i i can pass my jumpable also if i can copy this and pass this here right click run as job application the same thing goes out here for the other folks also right so if i am having a particular uh, type here i can pass any of the classes now if i say oil employee now if you see or uh, employee is not even implementing anything what if i do it here if i copy this out here and paste it here right what it is giving it is giving me a compile time error why because your employee is not at all implementing your jumpable interface at all okay so for that reason the reference what you are passing is important that reference should b of the type jumpable or any of the super uh, any of the sub classes which have implemented the jumpable interface okay so the bottom line uh, as i said with the help of your interfaces uh, you can use the same interface for different class of actions and uh, during run time if you use your interface in this way and invoke uh, the methods during run time as you know we spoke about polymorphism it is going to take care of invoking a particular method of a particular kind okay any questions any concerns uh yeah interface implementing static methods not implement interface having static so you are saying uh public static void call me yeah jumpable behavior see that Is the method uh no come again maybe a method that uh, checks whether the object is correct no first of all it is it is not even possible to make any of the uh, any of any of your uh, methods is static okay because this is not in a class class hierarchy at all i okay so when you say class on that particular class itself you can make something a static so that you can directly access it i okay so static no okay and uh, all right so coming on to this i let's say this is your index continue come here and uh, come to your experience guy and i just say want to say okay now let's see uh, one thing here uh, the final field jumpable in dot index cannot be assigned anything and you know that in java if you make anything as final you cannot change that correct the same thing goes here as you see i have not even given anything as final the way i have even though if i do not make is as an abstract okay uh public abstract it is by default is a public and abstract okay 
Now, the same thing, if you make any of the variables, if you create any of the variables in an, app, in, in an interface, it is by default a final variable. Okay. And if, what if I make this private? Okay. What if I make this final? Okay. Now, coming on to private, when you say public, it makes some sense because when you talk about an interface, it is meant to be implemented, right? So what, there's no point in making a particular interface as private at all. First of all, it is going to give me a compile time error at all. Okay. So this is completely ruled out. You cannot make anything as private at all. Okay. And uh, yeah, what is this? Save this. Okay. So it is out of the package. So let me make this as public right now. Okay, and here the index you cannot make, you cannot reassign a particular variable which you have already defined in, in your interfaces. Okay, so that is also ruled out. Can an interface implement another interface or abstract classes? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Uh, one interface, first of all, it cannot extend in any abstract class, like uh, for example, can a abstract class uh, uh, extend another abstract class. We'll see that. So here, what did I do? I have an employee and yeah, we have already seen that an employee and as well as a Reliance employee, uh, an abstract class has is extending one more abstract class here, right? Now, the jumpable, which I, so the singable, which I have added to the reliance employee what i want is all the reliance employees should sing so what i can do is instead of having what is this okay so instead of having the reliance employee implementing a singable what i can do let me comment this out for now i can add the same implements to your reliance employee so how do i do that a reliance employee extends employee implements jumpable comma singable also okay so one class can extend only one class and implement multiple interfaces okay so right now reliance employee being a reliance employee he can even jump he can even sing i can create a reference of uh, a reliance employee with the help of your interface jumpable even i can create a, a preference with the help of your singable also okay and let's say uh jump uh where is my jump okay jump and uh, i may have one more uh, feature okay so singable uh singable have got a sing rock okay now let me make this more specific and make this as uh, sing. Okay. Now, as a singer, uh, singable, he can sing. Okay. Now, uh, if you have multiple talents, uh, as as a singer, you can sing rock. Okay. As well as you, you can sing good good music also. So I'll say here, sing uh, good music. Okay. So I'm saying that as a singable, he can sing good music, but there are different variations of your singers also right so what i can do is i'm just going to say new uh, interface and i'm just going to say here uh, uh, rock singer okay now being a rock singer right i can void sing rock as well as i can sing good music also Correct. But if you see here, when we talk about uh, a particular hierarchy, why should this be here? It's already present somewhere in your singable, right? So what I can do, remove this and say extends, uh, where is that? S-I-N-G-A-B-L-E. Okay. So when I say rock singer extend singable, that means it is by default narrating the properties or the, the methods which is present in your sing good music. Now a person who is going to extend singable, he should only 
uh, implement your sing good music but the person who is going to implement your sing a uh, rock singer let's say i'm going to create a uh, it employee who is always let's say he's also good at singing here so coming on to it employee this java it employee is going to extend it employee as well as impli ments rock singer okay so i have implemented the package here and if you see add an implemented methods automatically you have to implement your sing good music as well as your sing rock music because i know that a person who sings a, a rock music he has an capability to sing good music also okay does it make sense out here so as a as an interface one interface can even extend where is that yeah one interface can extend here another uh, interface also uh but a third interface only implements not extend yeah i mean uh, interface will be used okay there's a question here but i thought interfaces only implements not extends uh see when you talk about a hierarchy as a, as i told you one hierarchy here uh, when you say singable uh, and you say uh, classic music classic music also extends here singable right so a, a classical person do not know anything about rock music at all so i will have this kind of hierarchy also so when you talk about a class class has its own hierarchy when you talk about interfaces you can put interface also in a kind of hierarchy okay there so there is no restrictions out out here but it does make sense out here right because when i talk about a classical singer i will not extend that ca classical singer to a rock singer because rock singer has got its own functionality and a classical singer will be having its own functionality apart from that sing some good music as well okay all right uh great yeah so finally i understood thank you all right yeah uh i i'm going to close this session right now and uh, i would request you guys to at least practice this uh and come up with some questions out and and at least do one thing uh, as as an assignment i would request you guys uh, to come up with uh at least a hierarchy uh, wherein uh, let's say a living or a living being and a non living being having some common features okay uh, as a hierarchy and then uh, add some extra features in them uh, by having an interface also so please work out uh, on this example and uh, we can have a discussion out tomorrow uh, we can have a room for at least discussion for 15 minutes if you want okay so i would request everyone to at least practice this because it's very important and uh, come up with some queries and concerns Um, Jaram, very quick question. Yep. So when we make changes to whatever we are, you know, the pointing to that side that you are giving us, mm -hmm. and if I make any changes, like I made some changes yesterday, and then I save it, but when I again uh, update it or uh -huh. commit it, it is going to take your changes, right? It does. Uh, it will yes. overwrite my. It does. So how do we? How do? How can I? Uh, uh, okay. Keep my version. Do one thing. I mean, uh, check out my things only for the sake of understanding things and have your own version of it. Okay. And uh, you can basically okay. copy paste the existing. You can take out my existing code, copy paste in your different workspace, create a new workspace out here. Let's say student practice. Copy the same stuff out here and only for a practice. Okay. so this will as okay. this will be as your reference but this will be only for your practice thanks okay and and uh, let's say for example uh, i think uh, uh com to com right click uh, compare with each other so you can still compare let's say for example um okay so let me copy the entire source out here and paste it here okay So right now uh, both are in uh, same replica. 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 One sec. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. Okay, so right now as of now both are of the same replica, right? Because I just copied the source from your core Java to the student practice out here. So what I can do if I yeah so. Um, Yeah, give me a sec, Florence. I'll I'll answer your question. Or I think Adil has already answered your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
Uh, okay, so what I can do, I can uh, let's say you are syncing uh, syncing this at this point of time. Let me first check in all these files. Team commit. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm going to check in with some compile time errors. Go Java. This this this. Update. Commit and push. Hmm. So I pushed all the code right now. Now, as of now, everything is up, up, up. I mean, everything is a replica right now. If I just click on this and click on this, right click and say compare with each other. So I will, okay, there is one difference out here, somewhere here. Okay, let me go to the student practice. Okay, let me go to the student practice. Give me a sec, guys. Uh, Copy this and paste it here. Copy this, paste it out here. Yes, to all. Okay, so let me do a comparison right now. Right click, compare with each other. So there, it says there is no difference between the selected input and stuff and all. Okay. Now let's say I make some changes in your uh, Rock Singer and which I'm going to check in right now. Okay. So in the Rock Singer, I've uh, added some comments out here. Now uh, this is just a comment. Okay. Now I'm going to check in this file, uh, which you are going to take the latest in your core Java workspace. So what you can do, you can basically say, uh, click on source and click on source in, of both the sources, right click, compare with uh, each other. So you, here you can see which all files you have got differences. Click on that and you can see these, these things out here. Okay. On the left hand side will be your core Java, right hand side will be your student practice. Okay. So here I, what I can do is I can basically click on this ses section and click on this particular. So it says copy all from left to right. You can do this. Okay. So right now both my copies are of same version. So you can do it in this way as well. So you can make a copy and make sure which all th th things you have changed, which are, which all things are coming in as well. I, I have not downloaded. Um, where do I download it from? Uh, I would request, uh, there's already a session, I've already told this multiple times. Uh, you can just go with the session, uh, probably in the previous session I've already told that and how to check out the code from a GIT version or you can just, I think, refer your second or third uh, video wherein I've listed out those things. Okay. Actually, uh, the video uh, in five, uh, uh, the recorded videos, uh, mm -hmm. the text is Inside is not quite visible. Uh, like when I try to open it in right. 720 uh, dp, it's like 240 dp. So inside, uh, like it's only after I think seven, the video recording seven, it is good enough to understand. So if and uh, after ten video, uh, there's after ten session, mm -hmm. there's no recording. So uh, uh, right, I've already raised this concern to the those folks probably by uh, they'll be resolving the issue. I've been fighting with them, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com.